Good evening from Zermatt. It's been ages since I did a picture of the Matterhorn. So this evening we've walked about 20-30 minutes out of town and uh, we've come to a viewing point with perfect view of the, of the Matterhorn and at this time of year we get the sunset light on the north face which is really nice to, to, to photograph. This spot is pretty cool, there's a, a bench you can hang out on here, you can enjoy the view up to the Matterhorn which is this away except for a cross, Swiss love putting a cross right in the way of all the good views. Okay, just grab the first shot of the evening. I'm not sure this is gonna be the best one because I'm hoping the light's gonna improve as the evening, as the sunset goes down. The aim is to make a triptych or triptych of uh, three images which will go together of the same subject, essentially variations on that theme. It's uh, an idea given to me by Chris Sale, who's got a fantastic photography uh, channel on YouTube in the Lake District and he suggested this challenge so um, yeah that's what I'm trying to do get three images to send Chris's way. Okay in order to get in tighter than even my 200 millimeter zoom lens will allow and in order to get some of those detailed shots and really in close on the mountain I'm gonna have a bash with the new two times extender that I've bought which will give me 400 millimeters reach and hopefully I can get in really tight and just look for some little details in in the mountain to put alongside my main image. I think I've got my second shot in the bag. I've zoomed right in and just focused on the, on the ridge in the middle of the mountain, the Hornley Ridge. Looks really cool with the evening light on the right hand side, the um, the shade on the left hand side and I'm going to try and make it like a narrow a, a narrow crop like a, almost like a vertical panorama and now I would like to get the same kind of crop and get the same image uh, for the third shot as well and they'll go either side of what I think will probably be a square crop in the middle that's my that's my plan one thing I'm really having to think about now nice view of the dog's arse you got there, is the fact that we're now in at 400 millimetres means that the, any shake in the tripod or the camera whatsoever creates motion blur. So I'm really having to wait until everything is completely still before I pull the trigger, just to make sure that I haven't got any of that blur in the image. So I think I've just managed to grab the, the third of my shots possibly the one I'm least excited about but now that we've got really nice orange light on the on the north face of the matter when you zoom in close and there's a, a shadow being cast on it it's got quite a cool sort of bend in the shadow and it leads down to the glacier at the bottom which is still blue so hopefully I've managed to keep the tripod still get the thing in focus and this shot is going to be about going from orange down to down to blue You can see the light on the Matterhorn now, fantastic, really, really nice evening light. You can see the shadow is actually creeping up that north face as the sun sets behind the mountains over there. So now's the time to be taking the best photos. I've got to better get onto it. So I think I've got my three shots for the triptych, square crop in the middle of the whole mountain, on the left hand side the zoomed in shot of the Hornley Ridge and on the right hand side uh, a bit of the Smuts Ridge with the orange down to the blue. Okay so the sun's gone down now there's lights fading on the mountain it's time for Laffer and I to pack up and head home 
Uh, if you enjoyed this video, there's more on the way, so hit the subscribe button. But for now, thanks ever so much, Chris Sale, for the challenge. Hope you like this uh, triptych. And as they say down there in Zermatt, ciao zusammen.